Hi, I'm Doug, and today we're going to talk a little bit about radon and your home. So, it's come to light that about 16% of lung cancer cases is radon related. Now, if you're a smoker and you have high radon levels in your home, your chances of lung cancer increase very significantly. The other really important thing about uh, radon in your home is if you have children. Children are a lot more susceptible to the effects of radon because they, they, their radon is, is a gas and it's in the air in the house. And so they breathe faster and so they, um, they breathe a lot more air for their body mass ratio. Also, they're younger, their cells are dividing a lot faster. Radon uh, attacks the DNA. And also they have a lot longer to live. And so if you have effects of radon, they have that for their lifetime. So if you have children in your home, check your radon levels. That's very important. So radon is a naturally occurring uh, element. Uh, it's in a gas form. It comes from uranium, which is in the ground, and your house is in the ground. So the radon gets into your house through the foundation walls, through cracks, uh, through your floor, through uh, sump pumps. Any, any cracks in your foundation or floor is an opportunity for radon to get in there. Now, Western Canada is in a fairly high radon zone. And so it's estimated about one in five homes have a high radon level. And a high radon level is, by the Health Canada is considered over 200 becquerels per square meter, cubic meter. Uh, the World Health Organization has at 100 becquerels per cubic meter. Um, so, it's, you know, so Canada says 200, so it's up to you. Um, so testing is not rocket surgery. Uh, you can go and get uh, a puck that you just put somewhere in the house and you want to put it in a place where you do a lot of the living but not in the kitchen or anywhere there's, there's uh, the kitchen and the bathroom. Um, so as I mentioned, it's in the air, and so where you're living is where you want to test it. I picked up a number of these things uh, to test the radon level in my own house. I tested it a while ago, and you need to test for, for 90 days. A short test, like a one or one week, one day or one week test, the accuracy is very close to zero. So. Um, I've got a number of these. Uh, give me a call. I'm more than happy to lend it to you because that's why I got them. Um, and so you can, you can get these uh, test kits, put them in the house 90 days and test it. Now, if you have a high level of, of radon, it's not that big of a problem to solve. What, there's, there's two main ways of solving it. Uh, the first is a sub-slab depressurization. And so the radon is in the ground um, around and below your house. And so if you have negative air pressure in your house, the gases come in. So what we do is you stick a, a tube into your, uh, into your floor and create a negative pressure for the air beneath the slab and then pump that out. So it's not that difficult and it's not that expensive, but it's well worth doing. The other way is, uh, another way of mitigating the radon levels is a HRV unit and that exchanges your, your air for fresh air a lot more rapidly than, than um, without the HRV. So those are the two main ways of, uh, of dealing with radon. Now my levels are coming in at in between 153 and 201. Uh, it's still safe but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, do some radon mitigation just because it's a good idea. Uh, any radon is bad radon. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do a video on it, so watch for that. It's not rocket surgery, it's not expensive. Uh, I do recommend you get a professional to do it. I don't have any recommendations about that. Um, but take a look at your radon levels. And especially if you have children, look at your radon levels. And um, if you want one of these, Give me a call. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you around.